Yep, that sucks. Okay. Got the game pulled up. Going to head into chapter two because I have to re record that to get it archived so I can put the whole thing over to YouTube eventually. Let me just make sure the mic on the headset piece is turned on. Alrighty. Yep, it is. Alright, everybody. Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. If you're wondering why we have, are coming back to this and not doing Terra Incognita, that is going to be because... Oh, sorry, I just wanted to check that. It was kind of weird it wasn't highlighted like normal. <laughs> we are going to head into Chapter 2 because I have to re-record this because I did a massive, like, Two or so hour stream and I never got the whole thing archived so I could eventually get it exported over to YouTube, let alone have it archived so it was all kept from being deleted over here on Twitch. So I'm going to start the re-record or the restreaming of Chapter 2 to get it archived and exported tonight. They give like the partners even more time before they remove it. So we're going to head into chapter two and start it from the beginning. Yep. Of course it's going to rebuild it so it's going to be set up quite differently than it was the first time through. The Ramalder Meyer, the Swamps of Sickness. Chapter two. <laughs> My child, you have awoken. This is the next place that cries out for your help. Masaki, the land of Ramalda. Long, long ago, the island you see before you was home to a prosperous city, surrounded by crystal clear water. Now all has been corrupted by this blighted mire. The few survivors live in constant fear of the dreadful disease. Here, my child, I offer this gift unto you. get the banner of life. As we hear him go, raising it. <laughs> Had to make a joke about that. Oh, banner of hope, my bad. Same thing, though. Head towards the light you see before you, Masaki, and plant this banner of hope in the center of the ruins. Now, from what I've actually been looking at stuff, there is an upgraded version of the sick room, so I'll possibly try to get that this time. I did have it before. It's essentially just a sick room with four beds, but you actually have to have four of the simple beds and not, like, two straw mattresses in it. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, the sick room's the same. Other than that, that was the only, like, thing I had different from how I actually get the upgraded one is I had the wrong bed. <laughs> it may seem strange to you at first, my child. Or, all may seem strange to you at first, my child. The people you encounter here are the monsters you do battle with. Even the new creations that you build. But I know that you will soon find your feet in this afflicted frontier. Now go, Masaki. Head towards the light. Okay, so like before when we did this, we start with the adventurer's outfit and the wooden mallet right off the bat. And we get to jump right into poison water for a second there. Always fun. But the mallet thankfully will let us break down trees and rocks for stone and wood. And and branches automatically without having to build something, so that's a bit of a plus for us. And 
Oh no, wrong button. Place down the banner. No problem. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. Uh, just a heads up, when I do get back into Rhapsody because it's been so long, and because like, the three voices that like you hear the most are but pretty much female, they'll probably be slightly different from the ones that I started with. As I probably won't be able to get like the afflictions and the tones exactly the same. My child, the people who inhabit this blighted land have lost hope. They live in constant fear of the disease th that stalks all who live here. Thanks to your efforts in Cantlin, my children are gradually regaining the power to build. However, the men and women of Remolder have not the strength to resist this ep epidemic, and have all but surrendered to the sickness. Asaki will not be long before the banner's light draws the survivors to this place. You must build a new town here and purify this polluted land. Do what you must to eradicate the blight by which it has been gripped. And I also found out there is actually a room specifically for the teleportals. And there's a different version of it for having each of the teleportals in it. So there's one version of it for one tele for one of them, one for two and one for all three. So I can try to well, I'll probably just do that off screen, but I'll probably set or do that on my own time just to get them, but I'll probably set it up on this re on this re-recording just to show it off as we get them. But that'll probably be like down the road as like I have the the town set up a little more, you know. And know my child that I do watch over you always. Are you a creeper, Ruby? Rubia? Are you creeping on me? Are you peeking through the keyhole? Heavens above, I never expected to find a poor ailing patient in a place like this. What's the matter with you, my lamb? Does your stomach hurt? Or your chest? Oh, Rubus, that's her name, my bad. Or oh, Rubus forbid, is there something wrong with your head? What, there isn't anything the matter with you? With you at all? But if that's the case, what are you doing? Whatever are you doing in a place like this? I'm just gonna sit here, wave my arms, and bob my head, and you're gonna somehow magically know what I'm saying. <laughs> ah, good old builder jokes. Mercy me, you are the builder? The one with the power to create? Did you make this flag too? I pulled it out of my ass. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm pulling this on my- I actually haven't finished my Dragon Quest game for my DS yet. This will probably make me pull it out afterwards. <laughs> and wanna play that, you know? Mercy me, you're the builder, the one with the power to create. Did you make this flag too? Okay, we already read that. If you really are the builder, then the great shepherdess in the sky must have guided you here. Truly the goddess does watch over us always. My name is L. Please, my lamb, help me save this blighted land. Sure, let me tear some crap down again first. Ah, uh, here we go. Some strong stocks. Those are used for beds and some other nice things that we can use here at the very start. Eventually I'll tear down this like elevated area where the crafting table is too. I kind of just want to jump into it for the moment, you know? I'm going to grab some dirt to finish off this bedroom here. Yeah, 
if I can remember this enough to get back into it. <laughs> Or just played it in general. If I were to be completely honest with everyone. <laughs> nope. No, don't break it. I want you to build. Um, I need a straw door. And that's it for making this event. And bam. Basic bedroom. Alright, let's get your first quest. This entire island is infected by the blight. Some even say that all the sickness in Alephgard is concentrated here. I want to save this place. I want to heal each and every one of the poor souls afflicted by the illness. Will you help me, Misaki? Will you join me in fighting back against the sickness that plagues this land? Because the hero is always a sucker. I want to know what happened to my leg. It was my own silly fault, really. In my haste to reach the light that I saw shining down here, I tripped over and injured. I tripped over and injured myself. If I had some healing cream to rub on it, I'm sure it would get better right away. But I mustn't grumble after all. It's nothing compared to the suffering other than dirt. Builder, builder, go get this for me. That's a frick of frick. <laughs> I'm going to leisurely go get my own crap here for a moment first. What's that? In a sense, Builders is fetch quest the game. I'm just going to get these things that are kind of like going to hinder our expanding the town to the outside of the border here. Al wants us to get some healing cream for her. Yeah, I can make a chest. That's what I want. So I want to have something up here to throw stuff inside of. So that it's not a way. I know if I want that because that's food. Here we go. new map so I have to find my way back around again and try to locate the way to the mainland. There's going to be the pillar that we want to climb eventually. Ah, here it is. Your goo shall be mine, swine. Some white flowers. Call it at the gay old market. <laughs> so we got some white milk blossoms, which are used to make the cream, but it's not enough. I want to try to get some more of the liquid that these guys drop because it's used to make antidotes later on. And I'm also kind of close to death, or getting there, if not already. Well, I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there. I'm going to stop fighting. <laughs> yep. 
Okay, we got some cotton up here, it looks. I'm gonna grab this medicinal leaf, too. And we got some slugs spitting at me. Lovely. I think there were also some mushrooms by the by the base. Where you might be going with that. No problem. Bulls right in line with whenever the world's in danger, why not do side quests? over here. All of these trees, I remember, they only ever give you um, sticks. They don't actually give you wood, so. But grabbing more branches would be nice for getting clubs and hammers made. Expected you to kill slimes until you got enough um until you got enough flat white flowers that way for her. <laughs> Go beat the goo out of these guys until they drop three flowers. Three flowers for me, please. Nice, 
got a crit there. And the Drakis carry another, carry a grass. <laughs> and actually the different Drakis carry different types of grass. It's weird. Better than some of the like really old RPG logic where somehow enemies carried money. <laughs> oh look, there is a third flower. Not quite ready to head back just yet though. I would like to get this door. Inside. Might as well tear this place down. I hereby confiscate this dirt pot in the name of the builder. <laughs> With a tree on it, nonetheless. There you go, came up. There you go. Not anymore. <laughs> This kind of is fetch quest the chapter. Because there's like a really lazy person in it. He's like, could you make this for me? I forgot. I can't, I don't know how to do this. Could you go use it for me and catch it? Oh, I don't know how to cook. Could you cook it for me? Oh, it's not L, it's someone else that shows up later. <laughs> no, L's like Supergirl. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the other people that shows up down the road that you hear. One soldier in chapter four was probably still one of the rudest people. <laughs> kind of laughs right in your face doubting that you're the builder and insults you for like suggesting that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just said yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's 
that's enough to make our item for her. Goddess be praised, you've made a pot of healing cream just for me. Do you mind if I use it now? Sure. Thank you, Masaki. May the Holy Mother above bless your kind soul. I've never seen anyone craft new items from raw materials before. You don't say. There's no doubt about it. You truly... <laughs> you truly are the builder of legend. Oh, the goddess smiles down upon us this day. I beg you, Masaki, use the powers that you've been blessed with to deliver this land from the blight. And we get 12 broken sticks from that. The seed of life will be better as it's a full heal, as well as a life extension. Masaki, as I'm sure you've seen by now, this island is utterly engulfed by a poisonous swamp. Most of the people who used to live here succumbed to its effects. Almost all of those who survived have contracted the blight and suffer still. You're kind of like, I think, under the goddess's protection and you just got here, so... Oh, L? It's like contracted, I think is why. It's not like you just get it. Like, you do catch it from the air, but I think it's, yeah... Like any other sickness, you know, you don't just come down with it. Video game logic, you know? <laughs> my lamb, I'd like you to build me a sick room so that I might care for the afflicted. I've always dreamed of building a house of healing to aid those poor suffering souls, and it seems that the great goddess has finally answered my prayers. Please take this blueprint and build me the sick room of my dreams. If we must. Change back. put this the same place I had it before, which was right up here. And it looks like I need to extend the ground out here. Oh look, we got a bug that walked into the vase. be able to put up walls or anything for the fence until a bit later on. Well, I can, but, like, not far enough in yet to have enough resources and everything going for that, you know? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Blueprint down. put down what I can for now. I'm obviously gonna run out of dirt before I'm even done with the walls. <laughs> what would make the whole like mockery and comedy of this better is if Thanatos was on. <laughs> and this whole thing about just using dirt to build a room. I talked to him a little bit, but it's been a couple of days too for me. Alright, so I need more dirt, so we're just gonna run over here to where it connects to the mainland and steal dirt from there. <laughs> Thankfully, with a hammer, you can smash two blocks at a time to get even more. Right, three, three, that might be enough to finish the walls. I'm just going to set up the outside for now. Alright, so... 
take that one door that we had in there. I need to make another door for the hot, for the sick room. We need two beds. And yes, most of this I remember from playing it. <laughs> needs a small table. It needs a wash tub as well, and I think a pot plant. I know we can easily tell when we come over here. You know, view blueprint. Okay, so it needs four more earth, and I do have that. Two straw doors, two beds, the simple table, the plant. I need a bonfire and the wash tub, okay. So the wash tub is the only thing I need that I can't make at the moment. And I have a couple bonfires that I can already use. from in here. <laughs> I'll set down what I can for now. I think, yeah, that went there. The plant went on top of that. The fire was right there. And that's just another bedroom at the moment. I actually need to make another room Actually, I'll oh, go ahead. <laughs> I need to make the cook fire because I'm about to start starving. Just so I can set that down and start getting some food going. Yeah, he's at starving point. <laughs> Absolutely starving. Here you go, food. Alright. I don't quite remember what the wash tub basin took, so let's scroll down and check that out. Oh yeah, that's what I needed the ivy for. I was pretty sure I grabbed ivy. Yeah, right there. I must need more to make it, yeah. Yeah, I need... No, wait a minute. Yeah, you need three. Okay. So I guess we're going back on an excursion for some more. <laughs> Shoot me now! <laughs> stuff that wood is usually used for at the start here. I think there's vines up here somewhere. Yes, right here. Oops, turning into night again, but that's fine. Now we have enough to make cord. 
And thankfully you get 10 for 3 Ivy. And now I can make a wash tub. Goddess, it's just as I had always imagined. Thank you, my lamb. I don't know how I can possibly repay you, Masaki. Our lives are but fleeting things. There are many people who think it pointless to struggle against the sickness. Many of those who fall ill do not believe that they have the strength to win their battle with the blight. They abandon all hope and wait in silence for the Almighty Mother Rubis to collect them into her, into her all-loving arms. But I have hope. I believe I know these people have the strength and courage they need to emerge victorious. And now that you've built us this sick room, you and I can work together to free the great shepherdess's flock from this accursed blight. Well then, now that that's decided, let's... You will help me? Won't you, Masaki? Tell me you will. Ten more branches! <laughs> if you give me some healing items, that would be even better. Or better yet, food. as it may, after the wonderful okay, she just was continuing on about like thinking you're going to help her without you actually saying anything at the moment while well, you were talking. I have another request for you. Now that we have a sick room for the ill and injured to recuperate in, we must bring them here and help them to get better. Some time ago I saw a man who had fallen ill with the blight a little way to the west, unless I didn't have the medicines I needed to soothe his trouble. Though he may be too weak to walk, Masaki, I'm sure a strong fellow like you would be able to carry him. Please, my lamb, use your compass to find this poor soul and lay him to rest in the sick room. <sighs> no, sleep now. Rescue later. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to do. I didn't want to talk to you and take the quest just yet. I obey only Zul. <laughs> you like just arrived here, you'd you'd be like friends? What friends? I'm here cause the goddess threw me here. And said, you work now. <laughs> well, you do eventually friend the villagers. You're probably just remembering from like the past streams when I first did it. Alright, we already grabbed what's there unless there's something else on the pillar. But the pillar is not always the map or a seed of life, so... There is always a map somewhere, so I just don't remember where the chapter 2 map was. I will find it some point during our re-recording of the stream. Our re-recording of the chapter, I mean. Stupid 
light. I'm gonna take your fire first, thanks. <coughs> Who are you? You're not from around here, are you? My name's Nosh. There's nothing you can do for me. Just leave me alone to die in peace. Okay. Oh, okay. Darn, it's gonna talk. Darn it. That ruins my joke. What? Well, what? You have a place to rest not far from here? I don't have the strength to lock. I'm sorry. Well, could you carry me? Nope. Bye. <laughs> Initially, when he says that, I'll, when he was just gonna say, leave me to die, I'm like, okay, just walk away, but... I forgot that you actually talked to him at, after that. So I ruined the whole joke. You want me to leave it here? Okay. It'd be more like lightning bolt strikes ten feet from strikes five feet from you. Fuck. <laughs> okay, Ruvis. And then the running gag would that would be any other any other time the builder tried to leave someone behind. The instant the skies began to darken like right by him, he knew that he was about to get another bolt lightning bolt warning. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why not zap him? Like, it would just be like a, a warning bolt, like, a couple feet from him, but yeah. But it, it, the gag would just be that, like, every time this guy's darkened for the first, like, minute or so before the bolt hit, he, like, would instantly know that that's what it was. When he went to leave someone, you know? Right, there's the base across the swamp, but I don't want to go that way. A lot. <laughs> right. doing the sandboxes, like, just doing the actual, like, objectives of the chapters. As they were a little bit more detailed and involved. Thankfully, this is a, one of the bosses I'm not gonna mind redoing so much. Honestly, Chapter 3 is the only boss I'd hate to have to redo. Hanging off the bed. There he goes. <laughs> I like set him down and he was on the bed, but he wasn't he wasn't quite at the point where he was prompt had the lay down prompt. So he was like laying on the bed, but it was as if he was laying on the ground, so he was half on the bed, half off the bed. Or half off the foot of the bed. It was weird. Right. Praise be to Rubus Masaki, you've brought me a patient. From his pained expression, it looks like he's lost every ounce of his strength. It seems he suffers from the same sickness that affects so many here. Some slowly waste away until they grow so weak they perish. Others cough ever more severely until they cannot breathe and succumb that way. And others the disease eats away at them from the inside until their very bodies rot and fall apart. This vile contagion presents in so many different ways. But we need not find a cure for every form of the illness just yet. 
For now, Masaki, all I ask is that you help me save this one poor soul. Yeah, stocks. That's a little bit better than sticks. <laughs> I'm going to have to go up and climb up that, like, grassy hill to the left where I could actually get some, like, medicinal herbs and whatnot for healing and that's actually what he requires to recover to anyway. Yeah, because they have like an icon for what they need to recover when you set them in the bed. No problem. bushes over here, which is awesome. Finding my way down like that, no. go so healed myself up gave him a medicinal herb and now we've rested and now Nash has recovered Masaki my lamb there is a reason the blight runs rampant through Remolver it is all due to the Hades condor who rules that the roost over this entire island if we ever wish to see the skies cleared or the poison purified this demon bird must be slain it is said that the root cause of the blight that gripped Remoldor is the fell rain that the condor summons forth so summons forth so by bringing that to, the, to an end. What's that you say? Shouldn't we help that patient before we start dealing with the root cause? How right you are! God has forgive me, for I am a wretched sinner. I have let my anger towards the monsters get the better of me. Saki, we must see to our new patient immediately. Judging from his symptoms, it seems the illness is still in its early stages. 
If we can just restore his vitality, he should be able to recover his own strength. A pouch or two of medicinal herb should be enough to get him back on the road to recovery. Uh, I already did that. I shall watch over our poor patient and make sure his condition is okay. His symptoms should start to subside soon. All he needs now is a good night's sleep and he'll be back to full strength. However, my lamb, I fear that our battle with the blight has only just begun. And I don't know what horrors we will see before it is ended. Our first patient's symptoms were particularly mild. I can only pray that all the others will be so easy to cure. Ah, oh, but forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. I should instead be praying that our patient makes a speedy recovery. Remember, Masaki, that when you treat a patient, they will need time to recover their strength. I imagine most, most patients will recover with a good night's sleep. There is no harm in getting some sleep yourself while you wait for them to get better. More sticks! Alright, and she's already got another quest for us. Infirmary, which is the same thing as just cut four simple beds instead of two. Woohoo, I'm back to my old self again. Thanks for saving me. I never knew the blight could actually be cured. Honestly, I was convinced that falling ill with the plague was a death sentence. When I got sick, I thought it was just a matter of time before I bit the dust. The thought that I might actually get better never crossed my mind. <laughs> Little did I know that a nun with the face of an angel and a builder with the face of a potato. Wow. Well, nurse me back to health. You're brilliant, Masaki. Both of you are. Is it okay if I stay here? I just know we're going to get along. Oh, and here, take this. It might not be much. At least I can give for saving my life. Nice. Then we got a seed of life, which... Most of the seeds of life I am actually going to save for when I'm really low on health for a full heal as well as extending my life. Alright, so let's talk to Elle and get her next quest. Masaki, my lamb. I'm so lucky that the goddess sent you to me, and luckier still that you built me the sick room I have always dreamt of. I want to make the most of this opportunity and offer the best possible treatment to all the poor souls who need my aid. If we're to defeat this accursed disease, we shall require the finest medicines available to mankind. Unfortunately, I don't know the first thing about making medicine, but hope is not lost, my lamp, for upon a plateau to the south lives Gerontius, the famous herbalist. Would you be so kind as to fetch him for me? He's a very learned man, and he knows how to make all kinds of tinctures, sobs, and ointments. With his skills as a herbalist and your powers as a builder, I'm sure we could create a curative to cure the blight itself. I'm sorry, why don't I go and fetch him myself? He's a fearsomely stubborn man, Masaki. If anyone can convince him to join us, it's you. Besides, we're trying to talk to him, things could get very complicated. I don't really know how it might turn out. So please, Masaki, follow your compass to find Gerontius and convince him to come back with you. Alright, so Nash, do you have a quest for us at the moment? No, okay. Actually, I want to make another club while I'm at it for myself. And the hammer is out. And the hammer is also getting close to being halfway depleted there, so... 
Oop. Ah, darn it. Didn't mean to waste the food there. Alright, let's go off of those items there so I don't waste any more. Options, the bird's eye view. I'm trying to remember or watch. There it is. Thought so, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, the original club is about halfway down, and since the hammer is about halfway down, I figured I'd make a second club and hammer for the moment, that way we don't run out. Head over to where Gerontius should be, following the cue for the quest marker on the compass there. However, I do want to explore this cave over here. useful for things we'll have to use them for later on. And for what's coming up with Gerontius here, I'm going to grab some sticks, as well as grab some stocks, so if you're playing along, I suggest doing the same. Go into this cave too while we're at it. Alright, yeah, just another cave with nothing in it. But more of the yellow flowers, which if I remember are daisies. Well, they could be daffodils, but I'm pretty sure they were daisies. here to get the mark head back in the direction of the marker. Additional, additional bushes that are up here too. Get some more healing items. 